Mordecai said unto Esther, Think it not strange that you are in the kingdom for such a time as this. I am Pastor Patricia Venus Henry of Stepping on the High Waters, and I'm here to declare to you and I that this is your time to step on the high waters for such a time as this. Good evening to one and all. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I bring you greetings to, from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want to declare God's blessings upon you for just being there to hear from the heartbeat of God, to hear from his throne week after week. I just want to give God praise and thanks for you. I want to thank him for your faithfulness. I want to thank him for just you being hungry and wants to know more of him. I want to give God praise and thanks for this day. This is the day that he has made. We all will rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Patricia Venus Henry of Stepping on the High Waters, founder of Laborers in the Vineyard. And pastor at Divine Destiny Restoration Worship Center, Storby Local Road, Crown Point. I just want to tell you today, this evening, that God is real. And it is time that we acknowledge and honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So this evening, I want to share from Matthew 15, 21 to 28 where we all know the story about the Syrophoenician woman, how she operated, how she acted in the presence of the Lord, how she, um, how she demonstrated what she wanted. Yes, many of us may not have looked at her in a strong light, but let us read that story again. And it says, from verse 21, it says, Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, Great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. I read that again from verse 26. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the, of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Yes, the woman had great feet. 
Our topic again is for such a time as this. And this was that woman's time. She braved the weather. And she went straight to the source. She said her daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. And she, she said, have mercy on me, O Lord. Thou son of David, she addressed him. She addressed him. Thou son of David. Then she said, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. And she used the word grievously vexed. So you know she was not playing. You know she came there for help. We understand that, listen, this devil that is tormenting this daughter needs to go. And this lady is looking for help for her daughter. She needs her daughter to be healed. So she said her daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. And we know what griev grievously means. We know what it means. But he answered her not a word. He did not answer the daughter same time. And why is that? That is something for us to pause and think about. But his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. Get rid of her. Move her from here. In our time, we would say, what is she doing here? Disturbing Jesus, crying after us, getting on. You know, that is how we speak. When we, we, we don't want to attend to something, when we don't want to deal with, with certain things, we don't want certain class of people are wrong. We are quick to chase them. We are quick to send them away. We don't want the help. We don't want to see what their needs are. And then Jesus answered, in verse 24, Jesus answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he was saying something specific to her. He was saying something direct to her. He was sent to a certain class of people. He was sent to a different group of people. I am not sent, but unto the lost, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came the woman and she worshipped Jesus. You see, that is why many leaders are saying to us, when we are in need or when we are in a critical situation, whatever the situation is that faced us, we need to bow down and worship our God. We need to bow down and worship our God. She fell at Jesus' feet. She was from another place, but she seek him out for a great task. That task is she need her daughter to be healed from whatever she's going through. She was grievously vexed by the devil and nothing wasn't going to turn her off. Nothing wasn't, was going to change her mind. She came for a specific assignment and she needed to get that assignment. So you, 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 you are not going to turn her on and off. It's like you're turning off the, 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 um, the electricity or you're turning off the, 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 um, the stove or you're turning off the air condition because it's too cold. So you, you, you are turning it off. The lady say no. The lady say no. You are not going to turn me away. You are not going to turn me off. 
She went straight to the source. She fell at Jesus' feet. She knew she was not the loss in their eyes. But guess what? She came for a purpose, as I said, and she was going to fulfill that purpose. Jesus said unto her, I am not sent. Again, I'm going to read and reiterate that. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came. I'm, I'm so fascinated with this, with verse 25. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. She did not stay there quiet. She did not um, carry on. She just said, she humbled herself. And she said, Lord, help me. And he said, but it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Cast it to dogs. <coughs> She said, truth, Lord. That is so true. I'm not going to, to deny that. That is truth. He is speaking truth. She understood what Jesus was saying. And that is why she could have answered so quickly. Truth, Lord. Yet the dogs... Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. In other words, she's saying, I understand what you are saying. I heard you loud and clear. Yes, you are speaking the truth. But the crumbs that fall from the master's table, the dogs eat it. So with that, I still need your help. I still need your help. I am asking for help. I understand the truth. I receive the truth. But guess what? The crumbs that fall from the master's table, the dogs eat it. The dogs had it. And Jesus said unto her, he answered and said unto her, O woman, Great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. Because of her faith, she knew it, this was her for such a time. This was her time for her daughter to be healed. So she braved the weather. She braved the storm. She looked at Jesus and she said to herself, my daughter will be healed today. So she humbled herself. She knelt before Jesus and she worshipped him. And because she worshipped him, she could have answered Jesus like that. Truth, Lord. She knew it was truth. She did not carry on. She did not get on. She just said what? Truth, Lord. Yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. And Jesus was able to answer the woman in this manner. Oh, woman. He was, we say mesmerized. He was mesmerized by her faith. He recognized her strong faith. He recognized that this lady is in greatly need of her daughter's deliverance. She knew she came for her daughter's deliverance and she was not going to move even though the disciples were chasing her. They wanted to, they wanted to get rid of her. They want to move her away from there because she was not of them. She knew that. So she humbled herself. She humbled herself. 
and she still asked the question and she still sought out Jesus. Jesus said, let the children first be filled in Mark chapter 7. Let the children first be filled. What is that saying? It was not time to be benevolent. It was not time to do what? To give away the children's bread to others. It was not time for others, for her to be healed. But they had a specific group of children there, people there to be sorted out. Hmm? It, was, it was not fitting or correct or proper to attend to her, to this woman's needs. Huh? The, I mean, as we say, let our people be first be fed. Let our children first be fed before giving away the bread. You know, we could come up with all, <coughs> excuse me, sort of things. Let ours be fed first. Let ours be given first. And what left over? Others can't get. Others can't get. And sometimes God can be looking at us and trusting us to see what we will do. And sometimes we don't recognize a dying need. Sometimes we don't recognize there are things that we can rest down and say, let us deal with the situation first. Yes, this one is, 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 is important, but this one is more important. Let us assist in this area. Let us assist. Those are... Sometimes we, 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 we don't play certain things and we may say, um, that is not important. Those things are not important. Those people are not important. But sometimes we must think first. We must recognize certain things first before we respond. You notice Jesus did not respond immediately. He did not respond immediately. He did not respond immediately. But Jesus then answered afterwards. Afterwards, he answered. Then he said what he said. It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. She understood. I, I, I just love how she understood and how she then responded to Jesus. Because she knew she was not of them. She knew she was a foreigner. She knew she was not of their ink. However you call the word, their class, their society. But she stuck around. She did not run away. She did not run away. She said, yes, I know that much. I am no, I am not. Of your caliber, these people caliber, I know I'm not one of your kind, but here I, I am in need of help, great help. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil, and I just need you to heal her. And she pleaded her cause. How many times? Do we run and cry? How many times do we run away and cry and say the disciples chased me? The people chased me, the members chased me. I went to the church and they chased me. I went to this organization and they denied me help. And then again the lady said, I am going to stay right here. I am going to stay right here. How many times 
Do we say that people of God and we still run away? How many times we've been chased at and we did not consult God himself. We did not wait for an answer. We agree what they said about us. We agree. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yes, those words could be cut in. Those words could be cut in deep. She did not say, well, okay, Lord. Okay, Lord, I hear you. I am not one of the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, I will go, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I will go now. <coughs> Excuse me. No. She stood her grounds. Yes, the dogs under the table eat the, children, the children's crumbs. What was dropped, what they did not want, or what they could. I should say, you know, sometimes we have a lot of food in front of us, or the bread is too much, or whatever we are eating, and it was too much on the plate. So we had to leave back some because our bellies were filled. So whatever was left back, she didn't mind. She still wanted it. She didn't walk away and say, me ain't eating no crumbs. She did not walk away and say, that is crumbs. I don't want any crumbs. I want real food. No, 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 no. She humbled herself. And she waited for an answer from Jesus. She waited for an answer from Jesus. Sometimes we are in prayer and we finish too quick. Sometimes we are there seeking the Lord and we are out too quick from his presence. Sometimes because we did not get an answer quick enough, we run away, we walked away. She did not walk away. She did not run away. She waited for an answer from Jesus. It was the disciples who intervened. They were the ones who were saying, chase her away, send her away, send her away. So people of God, <clears throat> Excuse me. It is important for us to wait on God. Wait on the move of God. Excuse me. Let us wait on the move of God. Let us wait for an answer. Jesus wanted to give her the right answer. He just did not want it to just say anything. Yes, sometimes that is what happens in our humanness. But Jesus waited for a moment. And then he said what he said. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He did not answer her in immediately and just say something or chase her away as the disciples wanted. He waited for a moment. And sometimes it's good for us to wait for a moment before we answer. Hear what God is saying first and do not answer in the flesh. He explained to her what was happening he explained to her what they were doing there he explained to the woman kindly and then she bowed down and she worshiped him saying lord help me lord help me sometimes that is all we can say Lord, help me. 
Sometimes we go into the flesh and we say all sorts of manner of things that was not pleasing to God. It is not pleasing. It was not pleasing. And then we have to repent and say, Lord, we are sorry. We are sorry. We are sorry for what we said. We did not mean it. Look at how she operated. She worshipped him. Now, if this is your such a time, if this is our such a time, we need to know how to operate in our such a time because we can miss God. We can abort the vision. We can miss him. We can have ectopic pregnancy. We can just capsize everything. We need to be still in the presence of the Lord. So this evening... If you are now tuning in, this is Stepping on the High Waters. I am Pastor Patricia Venus Henry, and I'm here to share with you that this is your such time. This is your time to receive. This is your time to worship the Lord. Like the Syro-Phoenician woman, she humbled herself. And she went before the Lord and she asked for help. And Jesus answered her not a word immediately. And then he said to her, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And she answered and said, Lord, help me. So I am here to say to you today to you and I, we have a word from the Lord. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. So I declare to you and I that we will be consistent in how we operate before the Lord. We want to give God praise and thanks for this day, this evening. We ask God to put us in that place of honoring she. You see, Jesus honored her words. She also honored Jesus. Truth, Lord. Truth, Lord. Let us position ourselves clearly. Let us accept Jesus at his word. Amen. And Laborers in the Vineyards Conference has been rescheduled to January. Just look on the screen and you will see the updates and I want you to stay in that place with Almighty God. So bless evening, bless week, stay in the spirit, stay in the presence of the Lord. Bye for now. Blessings to you. Amen. Mordecai said unto Esther, Think it not strange that you are in the kingdom for such a time as this. I am Pastor Patricia Venus Henry of Stepping on the High Waters, and I'm here to declare to you and I that this is your time to step on the high waters for such a time as this.